special. There you go. I'm so sorry. Kicking you because I want you to wake up. I don't know why you're up there. I'm boozing. I'm a what? You're a boozing. I'm 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 a Y'all say, hey. What's up? Yeah, What's up, people? Yeah, I love it. Okay. It's a vibe. So we live on both. I'm gonna say hi. Hey. What's up, people? Party people, it's a place to be. Hey, what you do to my dang old thing? You ain't never cut off a damn my life. You broke it in. Huh? Feel it, right? Look, y'all, my daddy, yeah, he just stole one of my cups, y'all. He just, uh, he just stole. You don't think I see you got my cup in your bag, pops? Yeah, I see you with my cup, okay? I see you with my cup, pops. Lord, save, save you, girl. Save you, girl. It's almost that time, people. It's about to go down. Hi, Vicky. How you doing? Vicky's on here, Dad. Vicky. JR, Mom. Elijah, Mom. I mean, I mean, say JR, yeah, Elijah, Mom. I'm sorry, Elijah, Mom. She's on Yeah, she's right here with me. What's going on? What's going on, Janine? How you doing, sis? I told you she'd be on here with me. Yes. What's up, Daryl? What's up, bro? How you doing? Love you. Y'all, it's about to go down. Right here, it's over the sessions. It's over the sessions. Wednesday, I see y'all popping out for you. Hey, I miss y'all faces. It was just last Monday. This last Monday, y'all miss me because I miss y'all for real. Go ahead, put it. Hi, y'all. It's going down right here, y'all. Right here on WLGV Live. You already know what is this a vibe right here on WLGV Live. This is your girl Tina Renee. It's Wednesday. So James, it's a vibe. You already know what it is. It's about to go down, 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 down. 29, 29 North Main Street in the building. One minute before. What's up? What's up, y'all people? It is Wednesday. I get excited. Y'all already know why. It is Hump Wednesday, aka Soulful Discussions Wednesday, Wednesday night. And with y'all kicking it with your girl Tina Renee, and I'm kicking it with y'all. So y'all make sure y'all share this thing. Y'all out here, make sure y'all share it to a friend, tell a friend, listen in, because y'all already know it is going to go down. What's up, Mama, a.k.a. Miss Mary Beaumont is in the building. And I'm here to hide. Just you here to hide. 
and appreciating all, all, all you do. I know that's all right. You. Come on up, mama. I need you to come up a little bit more. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's going down, y'all, right here at Soul for Discussions. And, and today is an amazing day. Why? Because I get to truly shout out my brothers for what an amazing show. I want to give them a high, uh, shout out. Shout out to Girl Shrugs, Mario Cannon, um, Chill for putting on the event this past uh, Saturday and allowing Soul for Discussions to be a part of such an amazing event um, featuring the le legendary Twisted. Mm. You no, know I didn't know that. Listen, all that in one week? All no, all that in one day. Oh, stop, girl! I was busy, busy, busy as a bumblebee. Mama, I'm gonna switch you out. I want you to come right here by me. Why? Because I feel like this mic is not giving me what I like. Okay, Dad, can you bring that chair? Because she's gonna be sitting by me today. Come on up here. I want to hear you, hear you, and I want the people to see you, see you. Um, today is truly all about women um, loving the skin that they're in, because a lot of folks struggle with um, accepting all flaws that you may have. And so today we have an expert here that's going to allow us to talk about some of the, the resources that she has uh, for us as women, because y'all know I'm big. I'm big and fluffy, and I'm okay with being big and fluffy, okay? Period. Um, next thing I want to do is, is just kind of give you guys a, uh, some insight on what's going on in the streets, mom. Are you ready? Am I ready, daughter? I'm trying to hear you. Let me see if I can hear you a little bit more. Try one more time. So am I ready? You ready. All you, right. She ready. Can you hear yourself? I will now. I know that's I'm right. listen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I know that's right. Listen. Okay. So let me tell you about what's going on in these streets. Y'all already know what I do. I like to give y'all the tea. But here's the thing. Gabrielle Union is having issues with her husband, Dwayne Wade, after having a baby with another woman. Most people don't know in 2013, they went on a little bit of a split. And y'all, he had a baby. Gabrielle is having some issues because of the fact, as you guys know, her infertility issues have been an ongoing thing that she has put out in the media. But guess what? In her new book, she talked about it for the world to know. Listen, Mom, how do you feel about that? I mean, she just well, sat here and put, you know, if she forgave them, why she put that damn well, thing in the book? First off, first off, it sounded like it was an agreement. Mm. It wasn't that anybody just separated and there was no conversation. That's mm -hmm. the first thing I heard. Mm -hmm. Now, if you agreed upon it, now why are you being scammed? I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking the question. Oh, okay. Well, okay, you're going to just jump in there like yeah. that. I'm with you. I so, said the same thing. You know, what, what, what's up? And then now you're going to publicize it and get paid mm -hmm. for a bad choice. So she said, Mom, I wonder whether or not they're in it to win it together to get the bag. Or well, do you think he's putting, him, putting her on, um, she's putting him on French. Well, she, he under the bus, as I've been told. I'm just saying. Was that eight wheels, ten wheels, whatever it is. Bump, bump. Bump, there bump, bump. Um, she she yeah. ran him over. Bump. Yeah. It, it, you know, if you're in a partnership, you're in a partnership with us. Honestly, guess what? Integrity. That may be a word some folks can't spell, but that's what it's supposed to be when you're in that kind of partnership. So somebody messed up and now they got to deal with this mess. It's a mess. And, and what happens when, when, when it's dealing with men and women? The mess a lot of times comes with kids. And it does. And that's a shame it does because the babies didn't ask for it. Y'all mm -hmm. made just a bad decision. That's it. A bad decision. And now you're paid. Definitely. Now, Gabrielle, I got to give you some insight, boo. Once you see, I forgive you. You got to let it go. And that's probably one of the hardest things that most women and men is able to Absolutely. do. Because once you stepped out and Absolutely. you have something, you make these life alterations, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to forget. You, you say you did. Oh, baby, okay, I'm going to come and take you back. But are you really taking me back? Or are you taking me back with all the mess and baggage that I have, too? That's you got to take you back. Now she's pulling up the consequences of it. That's not supposed to be. You either in or you yeah. out. Boom. Period. Coming up next, I want to make sure y'all know that Fred Van Fleet, baby, he's giving out money in these streets. He's giving out $35,000 to help Rockford students dream big. Majority of those funds are going to go to historical black colleges and universities 
Shout out to my alma mater, Russ College down in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Guess what? Yeah, that's my place to be. First stop is at Alabama A&M, Stillman College. They're going to go to Tuskegee University. Baby, they is in the mix. Shout out to Fred awesome. Van Fleet for doing his dang old thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, ain't nothing like hearing somebody who cares mm -hmm. and giving back when it makes a difference. Now, y'all know Fred Van Fleet is giving back. He gets the turkey dinner. He gets the back to school. Y'all talking about the people that make it rich don't come back to the city. Fred Van Fleet said, I am here. I love it. That's what he does. I love it. Yeah, he just he, so he ain't part, <laughs> <laughs> part time. Listen, if he's a part time club, I'm gonna take it. Shout out to my homeboy Joshua Patterson for when God, I'm I'm gonna say it wrong. When Bongo, okay, y'all know when Bongo is showing up and showing out. They just had a event a couple of months, well, almost a month ago, featuring scholarships for Black students and minorities. And so, y'all, mm. Mongo, y'all keep on doing what y'all right. are doing. doing right. And this is what we need to help our future. That's right. Period. That's right. That's right. I love it. I love hearing it when someone is being positive. Yes. And also doing the right thing. I yeah. love it. Y'all, I got to get y'all to see. Y'all, mom, guess what? What? They found that dang old food that stole that dang old <laughs> pork. Don't take From that. Collins and Stone. This fool was in Wisconsin. Now you just sold this whole body. The whole body. The whole body. And the only thing that you did was went to where? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Get your life together, baby. You must want it to be found. So guess what? We found you in high high there. He wanted company, but no compensation. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think he was just thought uh, once they realized they got out of the community, guess what? He's like, I had a whole body in the day. Mm. Man, the Oh my God, this is let you know that is our donkey of the day. You dumb criminal, dumb criminal. That's all I got. That's <laughs> all I got. Yeah, my mom is in the building today. And yes, Miss Vicky, my dad is here. He's over here hiding. I don't know what he got going on, honey. He he just turned into a whole thug on me today. <laughs> I don't know if he's he been drinking, sipping, but guess what? It's okay. Dad. I love you. Love you, baby. Period. That's what's up. Y'all coming up next, y'all already know what it is. It's your girl, Tina Renee, and I give y'all nothing but the hits. And guess what? Indie artists that's making hits in these streets. So with that said, coming up, Daryl, my homeboy Daryl out of Chicago with one. Is it bother you? Let me talk this week straight. Okay. What's up, y'all? I see y'all. That Vicky said hello. And then thank you, Janine. My dad, my mom's over here struck. She's not gonna know me in these streets. I'm gonna get this. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. Definitely, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all like and love all of it. Let me go ahead and drop these in these groups right quick. Mm -hmm. just coming out. Is it too hot for you, brother? Oh, no, I'm just getting comfortable. Just like at home. Yeah, we about to come back in just a minute. You fixed the problem. You got it. It's trying not to be in your lap. Oh, 
Well, y'all, we back right here in the flesh, y'all. If y'all missed it, we gave y'all the tea town with that food that sold that body from Collins. That was somebody's family member, okay? That's ridiculous, y'all. Y'all need to stop sanitizing. Y'all need to start acting right in these streets. We need these old grandmamas back that will whoop their grandkids. Okay, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> the views and the opinion is not that of WLGP Live. It's just my opinion. Put these dang old kids. Put some respect. They need to put some respect in their name. Front part. The front part? Okay. Front part, front part period. Want to give a shout out to Big B. Y'all, Big B just showed up and showed out and became a sponsor for WLGP Live. Thank you so much for what you do and how you do. He is a big component of the music industry and in making sure that we continue to do what we love, when we love, and however we love. That's but awesome. guess what? Ain't no party like a big D party because a big D party don't stop. Y'all, he be having a bit, and y'all know, y'all been to the blackout parties one through 10, y'all already know that it's going down. Featuring the throwback party, party featuring the band Jerry Chris and Friends is taking place on April the 15th at St. Ambrosia, 802 Montego Street, Rockford, Illinois, featuring my homeboy, DJ Neil. You already know, DJ Neil be cut up, he be throwing back, he bring it forward, and guess what? Everybody's gonna be pop, black, and dropping. That's gonna take place on April the 15th. Tickets are on sale now. If you know Big B, those part, this party right here is about to be sold out, so make sure y'all get y'all tickets period. Mm. Mama, you price. ain't ready. You good ain't ready. Price. Good price, number one. Good time. Great environment. And guess what? You gonna go home safe. Oh, see, I ain't like that better. Yes. Well, I know y'all wondering, who is this young lady that's sitting next to me? This is Mary Beaumar. Mary, you want to introduce yourself? Tell everybody where you're from and what you got going on in these streets. Well, y'all... I'm just a plain old woman here, here trying to do great things. And my name is Mary Bomar. Remember that. That's B O M A R. I'm from the DeKalb, Sycamore area. I've been in business about 15 years. All I'm trying to do is get something positive out for the ladies who feel like, you know, they're not enough in the skin they're in. Let them know that there's a style, there's an environment that's just for you. And feel confident in all your womanness. You know, sometimes we forget that, you know, we are beautiful, no matter what size, no matter what shape, no matter what style you wear. You are a woman. So all I'm trying to do is just keep it positive. Even if I like chicken dinners? Chicken dinners, baby. You can like chicken foot dinners. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, for the people that's out there, you don't understand the importance of having the proper under undergarment, yes, having a proper bra. Y'all talk about why my Tati say hello. Well, baby, guess what? I just pay that money for the prize. You can't be up there buying and walk my specials or those general uh dollar general prize and expect your titties to say hello. Uh, you gotta make sure you got the right undergarment. And guess what? Tell everybody about all the services that you offer. Well, the services I offer, I call it a full service, but you know what? If if you buy the bra and you don't get the right shape or the right garment for underneath it, and you want and you just spent $400 on dress. Now you've got some raggedy stuff underneath. And your shape that you're looking for and the style you're looking for, you said, oh, it don't look like the mannequin. Well, baby, you don't look like the mannequin, first of all. So why not go ahead on and work with what you got? So if you get the proper undergarments, you get the proper shape right here. If you wear it, and I ain't hating if you don't, but I'm going to tell you about me. I keep it right. And I keep, keep it tight. tight. I know that's what, keep now, it right. Keep, keep it right. right. Keep it tight. That's it. Okay. That's what we do here. Now, once you get the foundation, you know, foundation, thing out, that's the beginning, that's where you start. Mm -hmm. Get the foundation right, and then everything you put on top of that foundation, it's going to look good. But that's what I do, and I also help you find yourself. Not everybody knows that style. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? I said, well, why don't you come on in and let me help you find your body type. Let me find what works good on you, because we all different. I ain't saying give up on your um, exquisite differentness. That's the word I made up, y'all. Differentness. But you know, you go ahead and be real to yourself and make yourself feel good because it really is all about the skin that you are in. Oh, I like when you said exquisiteness. Y'all already know what it is. 
Anytime I hear that squeeze, I get excited. I know that's right. I know that's right. That's top shelf. There you go. For the people that's out there, I want to say thank y'all for supporting us during our journey. We have been down for the last three weeks and all the prayers and support has been coming in. Like, Tina, y'all, what y'all need? Is everything okay? Y'all, but the door is now open through prayer, hard work. I want to give a shout out to my husband, Reginald Alexander, Cedric, uh, I love and then Richard Al Aldrich, who is working behind the scenes that make this thing happen. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for what y'all do to make sure we have a place, a safe place to party all night long. Awesome. And so all the staffers, y'all make sure y'all come on now on this Friday from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's awesome. You got some stepping music on now? Oh, it's going down, bro. We're going to be stepping, step, stepping the name of love. It's going <laughs> down. Okay. All right. So you got the undergarment. So guess what? Y'all need some good bras. Y'all need some waist trainers. Y'all want to look sexy with the with the sexy, uh, what you call it, mama? Sexy lingerie. lingerie. Y'all need to go ahead and hit her up before Friday and Saturday so y'all can get the little soup. Get the right pieces so you can be in the right place. I know that's okay. right. That's I perfect. heard that you got a little event that's coming up that's coming up real soon. Well, you know what? I'd like to give a shout out to those who are making the final commitment of marriage. Now, when you become a voluptuous diva as me and my baby, I know that's the um, You don't always see the styles that you need for your body type. So let me help you out with this. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to sponsor a bridal undergarment fashion show. Mm. Who are, what, you ever heard of that? No, you haven't. So, so. So I am going to be doing that. And it's sponsored by A Perfect Silhouette by Miss Mary, which is me. And I want to show you how you can find garments and sizes that really will fit you. They won't be the 32 Bs and Cs. I start at a double D and Ooh. go all the way up. No, don't hate, because I know there's some M's. I'm a J. Well, J, K, L, and M. There you go. There you go. I'm almost there. Yeah, y'all y'all see these big old things? These are J. That's it. But that's okay. You know, that's okay. You dress, you dress your body for what your body is. Mm -hmm. So that'll be on the 27th. It's a Saturday. It'll be in Sycamore, Illinois. You can hit my website. It is A Perfect Silhouette. Let me spell that for you. S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T-T-E. -E. That's silhouette. A Perfect Silhouette.com. All the information will be there. Y'all heard it. Yeah, I hear it first. I hang on self discussion. I just love that everybody is dropping all of the tea and everything they got going on in these streets right here at Sofa Discussions. Want to give a shout out to C Do Voice, who was on the show on Monday. His new album and single is coming out. And he just let us know that I am here and I'm here to stay. Want to make sure y'all know, continue to stay tight with us. Hold on right here, WLGB Live. We'll be back in just a short moment with. Mary Bogmar, y'all, we talking about loving the skin you're in. It's not about just what you wear, it's how you feel right here. That's with it. your girl, Tina Renee. Here go my girl, Jasmine Soul. On it. I want you to sit on what? It. You got family members that just told me. Oh, do I? Yeah. <laughs> um, John B. Hyman. Oh, that's my cousin. cousin. He you said, cousin. what's up? He said, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, he said, what's going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying not to be in the left so I can go. I'm going to this way. Uh-uh, you no, no, no. You, I got plenty of room over here. So Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. know what Jasmine Sullivan, she freaky. I just love her because she just gives you everything that everything the child be thinking and I be thinking, she just put it in the song. Hey, hey Jazz. Oh, my dad is here. Oh, dad, I forgot you was here. My dad. Hi. <laughs> I'm almost 40 years old. Would you stop this DD thing? <laughs> what are you throwing up? You got your hands like you got crip walk. <laughs> You got all the writings in your hand. That's what it looks like. Really. I cannot wish you today. Mm -hmm.
You better sing it, Jasmine Sullivan. Uh oh, y'all. I had to cut Jasmine Sullivan. She got about ready to get everybody turned up and ready to go and get some of that good stuff. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Tina, right now. I said, right now. Tina, right now. Get it together. It's your girl, Tina Renee, right here on WLGB Live, y'all. We are tuned in. Well, we play nothing but indie artists, but I had to play a little Jasmine Sullivan because she just got me on fire. Shout out to Wild Thought Studio that's in the building right now. Check us out. What's up, Wild Thought? How you doing? And then John B. Hyman. She, listen, you gonna say hi? Hey, Cuzzo. I know that's right. You gotta say hi. So tell us about the upcoming event that you got going on. Well, the event is, as I mentioned, it's going to be a bridal undergarment fashion show, mm -hmm. but we're also going to be adding more vendors to the event. I'm looking for, and I have in my back pocket, but they have not committed. Mm -hmm. I am looking for some stylists. Oh. Are you are you a stylist that can um, really do good weave? Are you, uh, do you do weave on different hair? Can you put extensions in different hair types? I need you to talk to me. Mm. You need to email me at information at info at a perfect silhouette.com or you can even text me at 815-596-0866. Leave me your information. So you're looking for stylists. And I know I thought you said you were looking for some food vendors as well. Yes, I am. And yes, I am. You got something good you want to share to the world? Well, what about some samples? I'm going to give you an opportunity to have a table. Just spread it on out. Let people see how yummy your food is. But you got to be right. Don't, don't bootleg. No, no bootleg. Give them, no tell bootleg. Them, they can't come on halfway. No they got to come the full way. You got to come correct. Okay. Now, I want to make sure y'all know this. This uh, She's saying that because we are full and voluptuous. And so, therefore, there is an extra food one that might be there that might be hungry. And so, therefore, don't come halfway to give me a half of a chicken. Baby, give me the whole chicken wing because I'm ready. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> and appreciate it. <laughs> there you go. Now, listen, Mom, I know it's about your about you, but I, you know I've got to get into some tea and drop some heat that's in these streets. Okay. You know, for the people that's out there, y'all know Takashi 69. He got his tail whooped at a gym. Now, you already know he's been snitching out in these streets for years and, and has been provoking folks to come and fight him. But guess what? What happened, Daniel Hernandez? What happened, 6 9 Why do you get your butt look like that? You know, you, you don't go barking. You don't expect nobody to bite you. Mm -hmm. you, just, you just can't come bringing that kind of noise and put yourself out there. So did he think about it, you think? You know, all these years, he done pulled up on people. He done pulled out guns. He, told, mm -hmm. he said, you know, it's, you know, pull up. I don't give a care if I'm security or not. But I'm trying to say, when they pulled up, what happened? Mm -hmm. They said he was balled up in the corner. Say, mom, you know me. Okay, I just added that. Okay, <laughs> I just added that piece. Poetic license. <laughs> um, yeah, I just added that piece. I'm sorry, y'all. You know I'm extra. But he was balled up in the corner, and he had a bus to lift and everything. Oh the car, she gets together. Oh what you gonna do now? Is it gonna pull up? Maybe he needs to, like, pull down. <laughs> now, my dog, y'all know we do not condone any no whatsoever. But guess no. what? When you put your foot in your mouth, baby, you gonna have to go ahead and walk around with the shoe. Oh, spit that out, baby. When you been out. walking, when you been walking, <laughs> no, learn from your mistakes. That's the main thing. Just learn and move on. Definitely. Takashi, I wish you well. I hope you have you feel great. Absolutely. But I think this is the point in which you realize that you have to grow up. If not, then hmm, yeah, consequences right. in life. You know, there you always go. a consequence. You gotta be ready for it. Definitely. So can I ask you something? I know we both, I say, you say voluptuous, I call you fluffy than a mother. Um, what <laughs> made you get into truly creating or um your service in regards to bras and in and, and the right fit for undergarment? You know, I wish I could say well, some lightning bolt hit me, some magnificent thing can I say what? It was purely selfish. Mm -hmm. I was tired of going, trying to find something to fit all this lady right here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I talk to customers all the time. And, you know, it's bad when you go to look for something for your body type 
and you got some money in your pocket, then you come out with not even a bag. Not only do you feel like, you know, that you something wrong with you, but you'd be wondering why. And why should you second guess who you are? You are who you are. So I decided, so if they're not going to bring it to me, I need to bring it. So I know that's right. I did it to fit me, purely selfish. But you don't have to thank my, thank my sister, Elizabeth Mays, because y'all look, I had paper in my window, stuff on my rack, and I had it open my door. She's like, uh, what's wrong with you? Well, why aren't you open? I just didn't trust my judge, knowing I needed it for me. But you know what? It's different when you want to make sure what you're also offering. Somebody else feels the same way. Well, oh, man, did they feel the same way about it? They were so glad I was offering larger cup bras because you couldn't find them. It's very hard. You know, um, I think about when I shop for my bras, um, I go to Macy's. Mm -hmm. I go to uh, uh, specialty stores. Specialty mm -hmm. stores mm -hmm. and places mm -hmm. like that. So you have to order your bras mm -hmm. online. And send a lot of times, back. And then you, I'm you just saying. Four or five bras, and you get the right one. You may get one out of the five, yes. if any. And then yes. you have to send them all back. So yes. then that's money tied yes. up. And you know, when it all went down, this is one of the biggest things I want to make sure I put it out there. Women, when we go and get our bras, now y'all know y'all been wearing a C and they tell y'all what you should be in is the E because it should cover all of this extra all that. and all that extra back fat in the back. It's okay. All that. That's for your husband or your man to pull on. It's all right. Your bra should cover everything. And when they told me I was a J, I said, I about you took. <laughs> no, I'm not. I ain't no juju. Denial. Juju. <laughs> I've been wearing a here I tell a, a, a double D. Double right? D. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I know that? <laughs> That's the other two big for big for big tati women. I've been a double D. Why? You've been a double D because that's the only bra that's size it. that you see that's in it. a standard store. That's it. If you get a double, a triple D, it's not too often, but most people look for that double D and think that's it, try to fit all the titties up in there and they pop it up at the top. That's I it. mean, just be transparent, y'all. There's a technique to it. There's a technique to getting fitted. I, I tell customers all the time, you've probably never heard of this technique before, but if you work with me, you let me teach you every time you go somewhere, even though I know you're going to come back to in terms of what, um, every time you go out, you're going to know exactly what you're looking for. There really is a technique that you've probably never heard before on how to get yourself in a cup. I ain't going to tell y'all, but you've got to make an appointment. I know that's right. Tell everybody where they can find you on all social media, social media sites. So if they want to, when they, how about that? When they need that good bra tomorrow, they're going to come and see you. I tell you what, you can find me by this name, A Perfect Silhouette. You can find me on Instagram. That's my website, aperfectsilhouette.com. You can find me on Facebook, aperfectsilhouette.com. You can find me on um, LinkedIn. Guess what? A Perfect Silhouette. So you can so send this across the board. Yeah. So you just go ahead on and look for a perfect silhouette. And also, let me drop this on you. I do house parties. Uh oh. So, so you bring it around. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring the I'll bring the fitting. I'll bring the education. I'll bring it to you. Now there are some things you have to give for me, but we can talk about that when you get me up. Okay. Definitely. For the people that's out there, y'all, we just told in the end. I want to make sure y'all know who's here inside of our building at this current time. Uh, Mary Bomar. Um, of a perfect silhouette is here. We're talking about loving the skin in your end, and it starts with a proper garment, baby. Oh, you want those top to sit right? You can't be in a double D when you know you're E D F G H I J K L M O P. Okay, period, y'all. So if y'all want the proper garment, don't worry about it. Y'all can shop black and you can see Mary Beaumont by going to a perfect silhouette.com and just check her out. Period. Want to also let y'all know what's going on in these streets for the people that don't know. Snoopy King is going to be in crew. It's going to be in the building at Exquisite Bar and Grill, March 25th from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Y'all, it is a $20 donation for these streets. Mind you, this is all about master instructor Snoopy King. Y'all going to see me there because I think I got it. Oh, you do? I think I got it. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to be up there. Step on. Mm -hmm. With my special garment on, baby. <laughs> special garment. Uh, uh, uh. Now, Mom, are you looking for are you looking for models for your event that's taking place on April 22nd? You know, I could use a couple of models. I have my core models that work with me, and I love it because they, they stand by me no matter what I'm doing. So I do have my models. 
But I tell you what, if you are a lady and, and if you say you're a 3X and up, hit me up. Oh, you going 3X. I will. You going 3X. Yes, I will. You want a big, I will. And big, voluptuous and baby. It's okay. okay. Uh, Vic said, I thought for years I, I was a C and found out a couple years ago I was a D. I, I know you did. Mm -hmm. it, exactly. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. go years and years and years and keep that dang on brown on. And you want to know why your back off, scratch up your man, right. out there making the cheek. Because <laughs> that bra that pushed all up on the side where it cut up the side of your, your tatties look like you got tiger mark. It didn't even scratch mark. The tiger mark from wearing the wrong bra. And y'all wore that same bra for a lifetime. And it yeah, wanted to go It's hitting the fuck. Keyword, lifetimes. Can y'all do me a favor? Throw them out. They're dead. If you've been wearing one bra for two years. That y'all wash it the night yeah, before and hang them up, baby. Yeah. Them, titties, them needs to be rubbed. It's yeah. And what, and what about this one? The bra has only one underwear. No, now, now y'all know y'all need to throw them come on, bras. Come on. Now, now, mind you, if you have the proper bra on, people don't know this, you have the proper posture. Yes. So guess what? That means you're no longer slumped over, baby. That bra yes. going to get you right. Yo. That's right. <laughs> your tights is going to look like a missile. Who <laughs> knew? He said, fellas, we don't, don't start no mess. He said, don't listen, fellas. Let her do it herself. She going to kill you. I know that's right. You talk about her washing up the tatis that's under with the powder. Definitely. You, I don't care. My husband can put the powder up under my tatis. He don't care either. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Guido. He showed up and showed out on last Saturday at the Twister concert. Um, thank you for uh, interviewing with me, dude. I appreciate it. So, Ma, let's talk about something. You got some sexy wear, too, I heard. Well, you know, beauty comes in all fabrics. Mm -hmm. I have some laces, I have some silks, I have some garments that even have underwire cups in them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's nice to have yourself lifted when you have on some lingerie. Mm -hmm. I have stockings. I also have, um, I call them, they're, they're, I call them um, kitten suits. Mm -hmm. but really what they are is just um, crochet body wear. And I have some ladies who actually wear their body mm -hmm. stockings under suits. They'll wear a jacket over it. It looks very, very nice. So anything I do and anything I have in a perfect silhouette, I call them class. Now, you ain't never told so Now, that kitten suit, is that, I didn't know what it was called. I'm just telling you, that, that's that me. <laughs> that's a man. Ow, that guy, my husband, he's going to be like, oh, we, I'm scared to put it on because I know I'm going to have to fight him off these. That's a good onesie. Mm. A good onesie. A good onesie. A good onesie. I know that's right. Y'all, so if y'all looking for something sexy, something to wear, something to wear for your man. And, and fellas, if you want to buy something nice for your boo, your side chick, your friend, your dog, don't worry. Did you hear, did you miss the dog? Your dog, it's okay. Come to a perfect silhouette, y'all. It's your girl, Tina Renee. Y'all hold on, I'm coming back. I'll be right back. But y'all already know what I got to do. I got to do one thing, and that's drop indie artists that's hot in these streets. But I do want to make sure y'all know, if you guys have something going on, you want to be on the show, don't wait for me to call y'all. Y'all hit me up at sofadiscussions at gmail.com. I said it again, sofadiscussions at gmail.com. Right, coming up next, I got my homeboy, Illboy. Shout out to Illboy for allowing me to host his show the other night. Illboy, I'm thinking about my first one million. I'm almost there. I'm coming. How you like it, Ma? Is it fun? She didn't do as good as I did. What you do, Dad? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. My dad's son up there so out. Thinking I'm going, he's going to say something. He's going, <laughs> he's going to freeze up.
know you have another artist coming. All right, you got one last thing. What else you got? We got, um, that is, uh, I'm gonna tell this, I can't remember if you can get into business. So I'm gonna take a break that time. Uh, um, so another thing I do is I register. I'm gonna start to I want to do this to marry with this or something. I can't do this. 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 But you know what? They give me that. They can have the right people. Look, I'm ready. I'm ready for a product line. Mm Now, shout out to everybody that's tuning in. It's your girl, Tina Renee from Soul for Discussions, right here on WLGB Live. My homeboy, your boy said, I'm thinking about my first one million. Me and my mom was over here talking about how can we get there, the sponsorships. But one of the things that you brought up, which I love, is when you became, when you wanted to start a business, you ran into some difficulties. You mind sharing it with our audience? Oh, not at all, not at all. You know, my very first difficulty was I didn't really have a mentor. I didn't have anyone that I had laid the footsteps down for me to maybe to make a shorter journey to the mark I was trying to hit. Now, I had uncles, I had aunts that had businesses, but they're mostly like grocery stores or they were like um, little convenience stores that were on the side of the in Chicago. But I never had anyone be an entrepreneur when it came to garments. So I, all I could do was First of all, y'all, pray, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a firm believer. And I had to start studying. Stud I started out studying the big ones. Let me see what Macy's, how did Macy's get started? So how did McDonald's get started? Mm -hmm. You know what? They all started just small. So never, never despise the day of the small beginning. So my biggest hurdle was, okay, how do you do this? Now, y'all, let me tell you, let me drop this on you. I had a full-time job. Try that out now. Try that out, yeah. But I knew that it had to happen. So by me making it happen, you know, my, my full time poured into my little, my little girlfriend, I call. Mm -hmm. So never give up on your money that's, that's making your money to start your dream. Because if you stop where your money's coming from, you may tarnish your dream. So mm -hmm. I let my full time pay for my girlfriend. Okay. And by, my, by me doing that, it did allow me to stay. And not close my door. I made it through COVID, y'all. My little girl made it through COVID. So I didn't know how to do these things, but I learned. So it's hard. I ain't telling you it's easy. It's not a walk in the park. But I do believe if you want it, you can figure it out. You can figure out how to make it happen. And the next thing I would have loved is if I had someone who had my back at all times. Which yeah. meant someone who a support system. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those things are so important. Now I had my sisters, they were always there for me. Look, y'all, they came to work when I could come to work. How about that? I love the I love what you said in regards to accountability partner. Now, mind you, what is accountability partner? That's that person that's gonna tell you to get up and get your butt going for the day when you don't feel like it. Because as a business owner, small business owner. A lot of times you're doing everything. For everything. The books. You're yes. doing the um consult consultation. Yes. You're out there pushing the marketing. Um, your marketing. Now, mind you, that's 
one of the biggest struggles too. Yes. That most small businesses businesses marketing are going through is that struggle with is because they're trying to market. Yeah. They're trying to to be the person that consults. They're trying to serve serve everything. They're trying to do the quick books. They're trying to do everything. At some point, you have to all outsource something. And you do. And you really do. And trust and believe in something or yeah. someone in order to make your brand pop. And you do. And I was very fortunate. I joined a group called TSP. Shout out to my TSP family, the mastermind group out of Atlanta. Lamar Tyler, thank you for dropping the education on me. Melody Powell, thank you for always being in my corner and having my back because you helped me straighten up my backbone. And knowing I could depend and learn from that group has been monumental in my business because the business strategy and the business sense and also just that business, I call it matzah, just that push forward was there. And you know, you need that in those dark times mm -hmm. where it's like, man, you know, am I going to make rent this month? Y'all keep it real. Yeah. Um, you yeah. have plenty of those times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I share it with you. Like everybody must know that, you know, Swiss and close for three weeks. That's our lifeline. That's a part of our history. That's us. That's our our legacy. And when you're down for so long, you're like, dang, what, what's going to happen? Yeah. Prayer, right? Uh -huh. Prayer and surround yourself with positive Absolutely. people that's going to help Absolutely. get to where you need to be is huge. It is. Huge. It is. And when someone can come alongside of you and hold you up when you lean in and tell you, you'll get through this. Sometimes, you know, you don't think you can. But I heard T.D. Jake say this this morning. You know what? You may not think you can, but let that storm just be that storm. But you be who you are. You stand in that storm. Mm -hmm. And you just go ahead on even baby steps. I'd rather make a baby step than roll over and go to sleep. So I just keep it moving. Definitely. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Tina Renee. And coming up next is my homegirl, Constance, a.k.a. Miss Killer is in the building. She's about to pull up right now. So with that said, y'all, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I told Daddy, don't get it. He didn't took it. Huh? Killer, come on. Okay, see, I don't think I don't. I'm waiting for me. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm too late. It's all right. I was like, what killer? You have to get a whooping, y'all. This killer is in the building. Still there. No, you put it on the table. Put it on the table. Yeah. Okay. You good. I'm like, no, it's not so comfortable. <laughs> I had to change around from the last time. Oh, yeah. Look bigger. Uh oh. Killer, 
Back. You already know what it is. It's your girl Tina Renee. We back right here on those discussions. With my homegirl, she done dated y'all. I was scared <laughs> to the but she here. 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 Yeah, she here, y'all. The the one and only Miss Killer is in the building. In the building. Glad to be here. You already know you want to talk. Look, she got y'all got that cloud voice. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. Can you I, hear me? I hear you now. I'm I hear here. You now. I'm here. <laughs> Listen, I hear you got something going on in these streets. I see you posting. You up there doing the dang on thing. What's going on? I'm I'm actually, I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. I see. It's our time. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely number one thing is promoing this uh, uh, Little Dark Show. Uh -oh. So uh, basically, artists to come together competing mm -hmm. uh, for a slot. So they're going to compete in different states and cities and things like that. And the winner going to get a slot to open up Little Dark. Uh oh, little dirt, little dirt, little dirt. Look, the little cute little pack. The one, the one and only. Give me that. Shut down, crazy. There, you already know. Shut down is in the building. So, question for you: What do the artists need to do in reference to this event? They can definitely uh, reach out to me. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, Killer Spot. Google it. Miss Killer Eight One Five. Anyway, you can get in tune with me. Get in tune with me. My email is. Constance Now, what I love about you is y'all gave them alternatives. A lot of artists, y'all say y'all ain't gonna pay for them slots, but in order to get look dirt here, y'all already know we talk about pushing at least two hundred thousand dollars to perform. Oh, yeah, so with that said, you, you gotta understand this is something that you're invested in when it comes down to 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 your career. So and then you guys are giving them options. Tell them what options that these artists have in reference to performing or potentially winning a slot for Little Dirt. Um, actually, you can bring, um, it's all about support system. You can bring, if you bring in five people, you can perform a song. Um, if you bring in five to 10 people, you know, it, it goes up in the margin like that. So it's all about support on this one. It is ways you can um, perform <clears throat> because a lot of people don't have the support that a lot of people have. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with people like that who just now coming up, uh, it's it's ways you can perform as well. Just just get in tune with me. I'll let you know how you do that, mm -hmm. and we're going from there. Definitely. Now, mind you, I tell everybody. Now, if y'all want to do a little dirt concert. And I ain't trying to shout none of y'all people or this artist ever. Y'all better come into them stages. Y'all better oh, rip that damn on the stage apart. Yeah. Period. Yeah. If you ain't ripping it apart, my question is, you better come correct. That Absolutely. means not if you're going to do one song or two songs, y'all better come with a mix or two songs. These three yeah. songs, and it better be that. And perform it the best way you can. Perform it. Perform it. Perform it. Perform it. Definitely. Shout out to JK Lounge who's making it happen. 505, and they said 505 to 507 East State Street. They Absolutely. have really been pushing artistry. So Absolutely. shout out to them for, sure, for truly making this thing happen. And I love it. Yeah, it's one of the many places we're still dealing with the hip hop thing. Yeah. So definitely. JK, definitely big up to JK. Definitely. And also a big up to put the city on um, the actual people who's doing this event. Put the city on. You can look them up anywhere around the web. Definitely. And then you talk about y'all, let's, let's talk about um support. 
Y'all better grab everybody. Your mama, daddy, auntie, uncle, uh -huh. grandpa. You heard me say your it's little friend, your busy right. Y'all grab everybody. Grab everybody. <laughs> because this is your your career, right? Yeah. Um, and so it the cost of entry for this event is just 20 bucks. Uh, yes, and that's 20 bucks. for all your people that you're bringing. It's 20 bucks a head. Per person. I want to make free sure you Per person. Absolutely. And it's free for you. So bring all your bring your fan base. Come out. Have a good time. I will be in the building. I will not be performing, but I will be in the no, building. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know you did just say that. I will be in the building. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This one ain't for me. And it's time to, you know. And then don't don't try to don't fall, try to pull that. But I be telling y'all. Come on, come on. Man. Man. I gotta I gotta get, I gotta get back in a different way. Just okay, okay. Right I'll let you hear. Okay. okay. Next My time, time coming. Next time. coming. Now, now for the folks that's out here that don't know who Miss Kelly is, she's one of the hottest, hottest hip hop you. artists. And I say hip hop because you can dabble into everything. And she spit. When I say spit, one of the hottest artists in in rock for people. So forget female artists in Rockford. In um, uh, you know, I be I be trying to push it to uh, to continue to do what you do. <laughs> but you know, it's double sides. I tell everybody, yeah. you gotta learn learn the promo side of the yeah. business as well as to being an artist. That takes you to a whole different level. And it Absolutely, does. and that's why I'm at with it now. You know, learning and and actually trying to pass the torch. You know Definitely, I, mean? I didn't did I I did a lot more than the most. Made, you know, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not done. I got a little more in me. Yeah. But I'm, I'm getting older, you know. I know that's right, girl. My thing on neck, legs hurt, eyebrows oh, hurt, eyelashes. I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, what's that? Two hands up, put them up. I'm yeah, like, I be stuck. I be I stuck right here. Y'all go ahead down there. I'll y'all up. I'll be like, <laughs> get down there, okay? Absolutely. But once again, tell everybody like what do they need to do to basically make sure they're geared, they locked in with you. On um, just reach out to me where well, you can. Uh, if you're not my friend on Facebook, ask me if if you need to bust through the the, the, the DM bus through. If you need to email me at constantina 11 at gmail.com, that as well. You can either reach out to Tina, you can do whatever you need to do, get in tune with me, and I'll make sure you definitely on the rock. All I want you to know is whoever that's out there that's doing this event, y'all better make sure y'all put social discussions on that day. Oh, I'm telling you. Get it I'm telling you. Let us pull up. Let us pull up to that mug and make sure we get those interviews for everybody that's out here in these streets. Coming up, maybe a day for so discussions. We're gonna put a little collaboration together so we can get everybody that knows somebody, these artists out of the city, y'all get your heads shot. Y'all want to get your interviews, you can interview, you get a chance to perform, and you truly get engaged some of these powerhouse people that's out here in these streets. Be ready. Be ready. Don't get ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. You already. You can go in now. You call. I'm coming. Same <laughs> <laughs> thing. So let me find out. Do you all? Uh, you got these songs out here. I mean, you showing up or something? Showing up? You, I, 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 I've been doing slap a little, little slum in there. Did you see that your uh the the one that you uh you and uh what's her name Sierra did? Baby Cece. Shout Baby out to Baby Cece. Cece. She's doing her thing. Y'all, y'all pump that. I put that on my time. Like, y'all got like already 2,000 views. Okay, okay. So, like, 2,000 plates. Let me make sure I get that right. So, guess what? That's how you really support another person, y'all. Oh, y'all yeah. act like y'all got to do too much. Y'all got to go to event. No, sharing yeah, something absolutely. actually helps build on their absolutely. momentum. Absolutely. It's absolutely. Really, you need those fans. Having a good relationship with people. Mm -hmm. it, it keeps a good report. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this Tennessee killer. <laughs> <laughs> you already know I'm gonna jump right in because I got four, I got six minutes, and I gotta make sure the people hear it this evening. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, they, I actually like the original songs. I like all kind of genres of music. And one night I was just vibing to it, and me going through my things in life, I I had to tap on that thing. I know that's right. You want to go ahead and introduce your song, Tennessee Killer? Absolutely, uh, Miss Killer. Uh, the song is called Still Breathing, uh, by the way, a Tennessee bitch. Okay, now. Turn my back. 
this can make it happen. If you really work the blood, I'm hurting. I'm trying to make it happen. I'll be cooling in my zone. Don't want the drama devil leave me alone. Too many gone, too many here. Poor the souls left to take the atmosphere. As well, never shut. I seen it all. I know what's up. I pray for them. I pray for us. I pray for sanity because it's a must. But like a blessing, I'm still breathing. They got me tweaking, but life's a blessing. I'm still breathing. They got me stressing. They got me tweaking, but life's a blessing. I'm still breathing. But life's a blessing. I want to lash. Can't let my daughter see me on my ass. I got to shake it. I got to make it. I got to face my demons. It'll pass. I just think I'm scared. When I see red, I've been this way in black and gray. Don't stay this way until I'm dead. Hat thoughts, hat times, know your place. I found mine. Situation, I got me through knowing I ain't never ever needed to. I'm still going, I'm still flowing. No filter, still glowing. Never had my lips black, I'm still blowing. I rep the rock, consistency, I'm bound to pop. I move in silence. It's not a trend. Hope the fate is coming to an end. Remain sane. Call it something I don't want to gain. I love my people. So here's your flower. And fuck the hater. The world is ours. They got me stressing. Got me tweaking. Hold up. Hold still up. Breathing. Kill us. I'm still Man, breathing. Kill I ain't playing with y'all. Still breathing. It can't be tweaking, but life's a blessing. Still breathing. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Hold on, hold on. Let me find out you ain't playing with him. <laughs> Let me find out you ain't playing. You listen, do you know what I love about you? Is that when they hear your music, they hear you. Yeah. People that you know when when true artistry is there, a lot of times they be like, Let me hear if if that is Real. Tina. Mm -hmm. Or is that killer? Yeah. Or is that you know who else is through that? Um, uh, Seville. Mm -hmm. When they hear us, they truly hear us and what yeah. we say. Rap it one more time. <laughs> they got me stressing. They got me tweaking. But life's a blessing. I'm still breathing. They got me stressing. They got me tweaking. But life's a blessing. I'm still breathing. Miss Killer is in the <laughs> building right here. So y'all already know what it is. We rock with the nothing but indie in artists, yeah. indie street. Bring it at 815. Now, if you're around the world, we'll play yours too. Because we got people from Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee, uh, Memphis, hey. Tennessee, Texas, Canada. We rock with every artist that's going on. You got something going on on these streets in regards to an event. We want to know about it. We want to make sure we support you. Miss Killer, once again, tell everybody about your upcoming event with a little dirt and what they can, if they want a slot, they get a slot. And also, how much they bet? Where it's at? Most definitely. Most definitely. Come on down to JK Lounge, April second. Admission is twenty dollars. Artists, bring your people. Bring your people. Reach out to me. I can definitely get you on the roster. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Get them, get that music ready, and let's go. Definitely. Also, for the people that's out there, May thirteenth, your girl Tina Renee will be on the platform with my homegirl Janine Stevenson at the Norlock. It is a sister empowerment moment. I'm every month, well, um, woman, mothers and daughter brunch that's taking place. Women empowerment. You already know I, I support the women out in these streets. I'll be there as well as my homegirls. So with that said, make sure y'all come through. Mama, any last minute words of wisdom and tell everybody where you can find you on all social media sites. You know, what I'd really like to leave with you is that you're okay in the skin you're in. Don't let nobody knock you off your spot. You're okay. My job and my mission is to just enhance just what you got, baby. Not to take nothing away, and I'm not trying to add nothing phony on. Now, if you want to talk to me, you can go to a perfectsilhouette.com, go to my contest and put your name in and say, Miss Mary, I heard you. I heard you. I need some help. Definitely. That's all I got. Y'all heard it right here at Sofa Discussions. A silhouette.com. Y'all can find her. Miss Killer, tell everybody where you can find you, baby. Uh, Miss Killer 815 on Facebook, anywhere, Instagram, anywhere. Find me. Definitely. <laughs> y'all already know. Well, y'all gonna find Miss Killer with that heat in these streets with her Texas Killer coming song. Soon. Coming soon, y'all. Y'all already know. It always drop here first, right? Y'all saw the discussions. I just love it. 
Y'all tune in on next upcoming Monday. I got some artists coming through. Y'all check us out. You already know Monday at 7 p.m. And then Sober Discussions Wednesday, which takes place next week as well. So I love y'all. Y'all be safe out here. And I'll see y'all later. I hate you saying the eagle. I appreciate you. I know it. Okay, baby, we gotta get to that one. Remember? Y'all know you big beef are to be out to change. Yeah, yeah. See y'all play. <laughs> see y'all later. Oh, see y'all later. Denise Bailey said, hey, miss. She said, hey, miss me.